Many vehicle makers have specific weld inspection criteria for their brand. Honda Motors, who builds Honda and Acura vehicles, is one of those vehicle makers. Honda Motor Service Information has published procedures for performing destructive weld testing on MIG brazing joints. Before making any MIG brazing joints on a vehicle, a test weld should be made using similar strength and thickness materials. Studying the body repair manual will help you understand how many unique welds will be made. It is very common to make multiple practice welds for the different panel configurations in your repair, even if you are only replacing one panel. Here, we have a single hole MIG braze joint on two coupons, similar in thickness and strength to the panels on the vehicle we will be repairing. To perform the destructive test, we will place the coupons in the vise and cut the two panels apart to expose the mating surfaces. Honda Service Information calls for MIG brazing joints to be destructively tested by cutting them apart and inspecting the mating surfaces. The word cut is not the best translation. In the original Japanese, it describes peeling the coupons apart like shown here. Once the coupons have been separated, the mating surfaces are inspected to see if there is capillary action surrounding the hole. Notice the silicon bronze material has spread to the surface around the hole to bond the panel surfaces together. This is an example of a good MIG braze joint. In this example, the silicon bronze material is confined mostly to the area where the hole was punched. This is an example of a poor MIG brazing joint. Welder settings and techniques should be adjusted, and a new test joint should be made. Next, we have a double hole MIG braze joint on two coupons similar in thickness and strength to the panels on the vehicle we will be repairing. Again, to perform the destructive test, we will place the coupons in the vise and cut the two panels apart to expose the mating surfaces. Once the coupons have been separated, the mating surfaces are inspected to see if there is capillary action surrounding the holes. On the double hole MIG brazing joint, we will be paying particular attention to the area between the two holes. Notice the silicon bronze material has spread to the surface around and between the holes. This is an example of a good MIG braze joint. If the silicon bronze was confined to the area directly around and in the holes, it would not pass the destructive test and you would need to adjust the welder settings and technique and make another test joint. Destructive testing is a very important step in the structural repair process. Always follow the vehicle maker's service information, as well as the equipment maker's recommendations for proper setup and performance. The process mentioned only applies to Honda and Acura vehicles. Please see our other videos for other manufacturers' recommendations on their vehicles.